Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful people, whatever the time is, wherever you are, I trust that it's going to be good. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Dear Worship Leader. <laughs> if you're new to this uh, series, trust me, this is going to bless you, especially if you're a worship leader, if you're a choir member, if you're a worship team member, trust me, there's so many things that we share on here that just helps enhance your service to God and help you give God more excellent and quality service. If you're new here, subscribe. Do that now. Thank you. <laughs> like this video, comment on it, tell me what you think about it. Ask me questions or things you'd want me to share on. Um, share it with your fellow choir members, fellow worship team members, your music directors, your choir leaders, because it's going to bless them. All right, so what I'm going to be talking about today is about ad libs when leading worship. Ad libs when leading worship. Ad libs when leading worship. So, the thing what makes our music, what separates our music from that of the world, or which is called secular, secular music, are the words. It's not the beat, it's not the, the, the tempo, it's not the style, it's not the rhythm, no, it is the words. That's all. That's what makes our music, you know, Christian music or gospel music. Just the words, scripture. Those are the things that make our, 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 our music different from secular music. So, as a worship leader, the first, your first, apart from your, your, you know, your tool, which is your voice, apart from that and, you know, your skills, the things that you have learned over the years, apart from all of that, one thing that you should be rich in is in the word, the word of God. You should be a student of the scriptures. You should be a student of the word. You know, you remember how we used to do in Sunday school for those of us that, you know, repented some time back. Sunday school, my, me, my local church, my home church, you know, where I grew up, Assemblies of God, we had Sunday school every Sunday. And there's something that we do called memory verse. Every week we learn a scripture, sometimes one verse, sometimes two verses. And oftentimes we we don't know the power that those things carry, you know, and some you know, we are done with Sunday school and you change churches and they are in a church where they don't do that. I encourage you to cultivate that habit even in your own personal study time when you're studying the word of God. I encourage you to always make it a rule to memorize at least, you know, a scripture. A scripture per week, that, that's me even stretching it, you know, we are being lazy, you know, but like you don't have anything at all, a scripture per week, you know, memorize it, meditate on it, let it make meaning to you, you know, let, let God reveal some truth from that scripture to you. I know some of you might be saying, ah, what has this got to do with Adlibs? I'm coming there. When you are leading a song and, for example, when you're leading a... Um, you're leading a... Um, oh. oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. You're leading that and you're saying, Oh, be lifted. They're backing it. Oh, above all other gods. Oh, we lay a crown. Oh, and worship you. Oh, be lifted. Oh, be lifted. Be lifted, God, above all other gods. We lay, we lay our crowns and worship and worship you. Oh, be lifted. Oh, that's monotonous. We're just repeating the same words. So the question you ask yourself is, what does it mean to be lifted? What does it mean to... It means to magnify God. It means to place God higher than all else. It means you're saying, God, you are priority. Do you understand? That's what it means. And then, 
we lay our crowns and worship you. What, 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 what can crowns denote? What, could crowns mean your achievements? You know, your successes? You know, the applauses of men in an area where people just, you know, just, just applaud you and say, oh, wow, you're doing fantastic. Oh, you're doing so good. That has made you feel like I've arrived. That makes you feel like you don't need God. That makes you, you know, like, like that rich man, the foolish rich man in the scripture that said, okay, look at what my strength has gotten me. I will tear down this barn and I will, you know, and I'll fill this whole house with food. I got it by my strength. Is that, is, is that, is that what your success is? Is now making you see or making you think? Those could be crowns that you are saying deliberately, oh God, I'm laying it down. That's what it means. Those are the things it means. And then it should shine through in your in your in your in your ad lips. And worship you we lay, we lay a crown and worship and worship. We lay our cares before you, God. You get our success before you go. Anything higher than you, we lay it down, God. Oh, our pain, we lay it down, Jesus. The applause of men, we lay it down, oh God. You, you get, oh God, our achievements. Oh Father, every idol, we lay it down. We lay it down, oh God. So as you give those kinds of ad leaves, it, it makes people feel, it causes people to, to it, it gives more, more meaning, more depth to your, to your, to your, to your lead. Do you get? It causes people to reflect, even as you're calling all those things, they're saying that's true. You know, some people just got a, a, a promotion and they're like, ha, I'm, I've arrived, I'm, I'll show them, I'll deal with them, and God is saying, hello, those are the things I'm talking about. That thing is becoming an idol. And as you are calling all those things, you know, it just, it, it just, yeah, they're thinking about it. I say, that's true. Do you get? Uh, uh, so, you, your, your word bank needs to be large. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, we want our call. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Are you singing? Every praise. Every praise is to our every word, every word of worship. We want to call every praise, we pray every praise to our God. What else can you say? Every praise is to our every lifting of a hand. We want to call all our worship. All the glory is to our God. You get uh, let's wear every praise. Every praise is to our every word of worship. We wanna every praise. All the glory is to our God. Let's sing it again. Oh, every praise, every praise is to. When we gather in one accord, oh, it's to you, God, it's to you, to the most high God. Do you understand? So when you do those things, it's stretching you. It's stretching you instead of just repeating the same thing. Some people, at least me, I'm even calling the words of the song. Some people, oh, every praise, oh. Every praise is to our God. Oh, oh, my God, God, I was a guy now. Look for something else. Look for something else. When we dance before you, it's to our God. When we give our hands before you, it's to our God. When we clap our hands, it's to our God. When we give a shout of victory, to our God, oh, when we shed tears of joy, it is to our God. When we give a dance, it's to our God. When we scream, it is to our God. Do you understand? 
just be there's creativity in it and there's word, everything jamming together. Oh every, oh, every prayer, every prayer, every prayer, every prayer, every prayer, every prayer, every praise, every prayer. Eh? What happened? What? <laughs> every dance that we give, every, every shout that we shout. Oh, we will lift our hands, clap our hands, oh, lifting up our voice. Every, do you understand all those things? They make you even think about the praise that you are giving to God. Do you understand? So, people of God, we need to stretch, we need to be creative, we need to expand our word bank, and we need to personalize many of the songs that we sing so that we sing from that, you know, from that overflow, you know, ensure that the song has ministered to you. Most times, that's where all these things come from. That's where the, the words come from. You know, there's, there's, there's when you study, there's also when you think about the song and the song makes meaning to you. I remember one time that I was leading, I was about to, I was going to lead the song uh, um, 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 what's this Israel Hutton song? Or does this Israel Hutton song? Um, uh, be lifted higher. Uh, that's the beginning of that song. Higher Hosanna in the highest let our king be lifted high oh, and for some reason that let our king i was going to lead it later in the day but in the morning when i was having my devotion i just Start to sing it, but for some reason that letter I can't believe it. I just couldn't leave me. I know some of us are saying things like, Let the honor of my life be lifted high. Oh, let the lifter of my head be lifted high. Let my God and my King be lifted high. Let my Savior, my Redeemer. And the keeper of Israel be lifted high. Let the prayer and true Father be lifted. I just, I was there for like 10 minutes. I, the thing don't enter my soul. Of course, when you go to minister, it's, the thing has blessed you. So definitely it's going to bless the people that you are ministering to. You cannot give what you have. Do you understand? So this is what I encourage us all to do. Stay on the song. Let the song make meaning to you. If you can, you know, memorize some scriptures during the week, you know, so that your word bank is full. Study the word. The word is our, our material. That's what differentiates us from the world. So ensure that you're reaching all of this. And watch your worship leading experience, you know, go to another level. God bless you. And that's the end of my you know, series on, you know, worship leading, congregational, key, ad libs, and all of that. I know it blessed you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I hope. I know it blessed you. So ensure you share this with your fellow choir members, your music pastor, your music director, your worship team members, so that we can all grow, you know, in this that the Lord has handed over to us and also give him excellent service and excellent um, worship that he deserves um like i always say your reward will not lead you even though what he's telling you thank you know that god sees your labor and he is not unfaithful to let your labor of love just go in vain he's going to bless you god bless you people of god you will see you again keep giving god excellent service keep growing god bless you